There was something so beautiful <laughs> about, to me, about the Buffy and Angel story. This is about Buffy and Angel. Listen, I'm, right on, I'm on the same page. I adore James. I'm a um, little upset right now. You know, I'm split right down the middle. In terms of a long-term relationship, Spike's kind of your guy. You know, he actually went and got a soul because of her, and he he was evolved in a in a different way. Spike understood a different part of who Buffy was, and I think she needed to understand that and discover that. Look me in the eyes and tell me when you saw Buffy alive, that wasn't the happiest moment of your entire existence. But Angel's Romeo. They spend that that first time together, and it literally pushed him to the dark side. And he, it was the ultimate metaphor for the guy that didn't call and what they went through to be together. I just, you can't argue with the one that we you know, that is the first, that is the most important. That's the grandest love story I will ever tell. I love you. I try not to, but I can't stop. Me, me too. <laughs> then the, the thing is that for Joss Whedon, evil is not cool. He doesn't want to sell this lie that, that evil is something that you want in your life. And Spike was evil. And we, we tried to remind the audience every once in a while, he's fun to watch, but he's actually evil. And when Buffy gets together with him, it's not a healthy relationship. Kill me. For me as Buffy, Buffy, I think Angel. Not Sarah James David.